What's going on everybody and welcome to another trading analytics video. So the total US market is priming itself for an interesting move in the week of Thanksgiving. It's going to be a short week with the market being closed on Thursday and the bond market being closed on Friday. But we have some interesting things shaping up nonetheless. So if you're looking at SPY right now, as you can see here, we are actually retesting the upper trend line. Like I mentioned in my previous video where I said that we're going to bounce off this likely 484 support treat that to look to a retest the upper trend line here to see if that's going to be a new resistance point here or it's going to break through and establish stuff as a support so the fact that we're getting right here at the retest of 595 monday is going to be very very important for an overall move you see names like bitcoin are actually starting to take a tumble down from the 99,000 zone and the overall market itself consolidating at this point with a a rotation of funds out of more defensive names into retailers and other things in preparation for a nice little Christmas rally. So pretty excited about that. I want to see how this line interacts here to see if we're going to establish that support. So um, jumping over to the queues, similar to SPY, we actually close above a key resistance point at 504, but I think the queues are presenting themselves with a nice bounce as well because you're going to see names like Microsoft, Amazon. Uh, Apple all priming themselves for some sort of upward move again in conjunction with this Christmas rally but I do want to say that the cues themselves um, without a clear breakout to to look to retest the 510 zone um, it's going to be important to see how we survive this retest at 505 um, again like I mentioned last week we actually have a one thousand ten thousand dollar challenge going on in our server and we took the QQQ calls from that zone anticipating this breakthrough at the 504 level and <laughs> can't complain about a 400 dollars return off a thousand dollars 40 percent plus was a huge gainer for us and i think that the market's priming itself for another similar move speaking of major moves jumping over to xlxx you can see here that the chip sector has seen a bit of a downturn since nvidia's earnings what's going on here you say well <clears throat> We lost a key support zone here at 225 and once we lost 225 then that puts us on a nice retest down to 210. we caught 210 and bounced from that area but i do think there's a small chance we'll close this gap at 217 and if we close that gap at 217 we just form the handle of the inverted cup we're going to go lower probably to the 200 zone so it's going to be interesting to see with that moving forward and finally like i mentioned about bitcoin earlier today or earlier in the video i should say Bitcoin had a nice consolidation point off of its breakout to on, on the path to 100,000. However, we got something no investor wants to see, and that was Jim Cramer himself talking about how Bitcoin, he likes it, likes the asset, and he is advising people to go and buy more and more. As you guys know, the inverse Cramer actually has a 65% success rate. And as soon as Jim Cramer says, hey, I like the asset, what happened? Bitcoin fell from that 99,900 zone and it was actually around 97,000 at the time we started making this video now it's across all day around 98,000 so we'll see how it holds going into Monday's live trading sessions but I do think a pullback is necessary anyway following this massive breakup that the asset has had and I'm, I'm not you know too keen to say that uh, we'll see a full full-blown sell-off to 80,000 but I do think we're going to retest the breakout zone around 91,000 at some point likely if not this week then next week for sure before taking the eventual ride up to 100,000 like I think that's going to hit so that's that now speaking of some charts that I like heading into this week so IBM <coughs> is one of my favorite charts and I think as a whole this is priming itself for a massive massive move to the upside um we already talked about this in our challenge previously dropped this for those people in our our uh, 1k 10k challenge discussing the move to 220 earlier last week and boom lo and behold we got the retest and broke through so it's gonna be very interesting to see how an ibm name holds going into the holiday weekend but that's all I got for you guys today. I've been Trade Runner. This is Trading Analytics. Link to our Discord in the description of this video as well as on our channel bot. And again, like I mentioned four times throughout this video, we have a brand new $1,000 to $10,000 challenge going on in our server. The link to that's in the description of this video. We've already completed two 1K to 10K challenges in the last four months. And I do think that this third one is just in time, not just for the holiday season, but to start off 2025 with a bang. Check us out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.